so this is Dallas I'm of the stars and I came across two more examples of unconscious symbolism uh, using metaphors one is let me lift you up this is said sometimes by a man to a woman it might be a man's like motto in life to lift up the woman that he loves then if that's so if he's always thinking let me lift you up he when he hears other women on the astral plane he might think the same thing and the consequence of that is the consequence of that is if the person the lady in question comes up partly out of their physical body their emotional body their astral form comes up partly out of the physical body and they're less grounded and so if you run into that over and over again coming from someone on the astral plane in the clear chatter the the answer to that is to say I'm I'm grounded now or I'm grounding now like that and now I'm back on earth you know something like that my pr preference in this case is the simplest one which is I'm grounded now as if it were already accomplished so there's that one and then the second one has to do with let me fly you to the moon you know some people pick up metaphors from popular songs and I wouldn't be surprised if that isn't part of a popular song isn't it fly me to the moon da -da 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 -da. something like that and um, so some people they really like the, a certain popular song and they sing it over and over again and they pick up these metaphors in their subconscious minds so suppose it were a, a, a gentleman who really loved that song and whenever he was with a woman that he really liked he would say to himself in his unconscious mind he would say let me fly you to the moon well I had such an instance occur to me that uh, there was a, a gentleman on the astral plane uh, who when I was about to go to sleep one night I noticed right he came around and he he said let me fly you to the moon you know things are better up there and he had in his unconscious mind he had constructed a whole astral story around this he was flying all the people up to the moon because there were beings up there that would protect them from um, from the Claire chatter because it is pretty annoying sometimes you really have to have you know resort to your higher selves or or you have to have your spiritual team around you as some term it and that's my preference too is to, is to say it like that very frequently it feels like I'm walking in a crowd of, of beautiful angelic beings so but anyway um, so a lot of people are you know bothered by the by the clearing that's taking place on earth and so this 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 very amazing uh, unconscious I believe astral story went like this uh, there are beings on the moon who are far superior in uh, like wisdom and uh, like that to human beings and they'll take you up there and they'll retrofit you for the um, for the new wear that you need for the ascension right and so but this person didn't much like me you know so he picked me up and I could actually feel my astral body uh, lifting up from my physical body and uh, he took me it seemed a long way but that I think was just mental suggestion my feeling is that my astral body may have gone up as far as my 10th chakra which is maybe three feet above my head correct me if I'm wrong and so uh, there I was in an ungrounded state right and um, and then and then he said okay here's a space freighter here it's like out there someplace halfway between the moon and earth he says you're not a, you're not suitable like material to be retrofitted and fixed up for ascension what do we do and then he talks to the beings on the moon right and I'm going what next <laughs> and so he talks to the beings on the moon and and um, and they say leave her there we have special containers to put their souls in so that they because we can't use them they're damaged too much by the duality play right so next thing I know 
my astral form is inside some kind of an airtight container and it's like you know knock on wood okay you're all set and that's that you know so I waited maybe five minutes and it seemed like there was no one there and then I sent my astral form back to my physical body back down to earth to ground <laughs> so so if this ever happens to you just remember you are suitable for ascension every human being on earth is suitable for ascension and is able to get the new wear and is able to live on new earth so never let low self-esteem stop you there's no such thing and the only other thing that I would conclude from these two examples the one about I will lift you up and let me fly you to the moon is it's very important during this ascension process to keep our feet on the earth even if our um, even if we reach like galactic level up there uh, in terms of the new chakras above our heads so you might want to feel momentarily feel the eighth through tenth chakras above your head and and reset your meta program like in my um, my blog category called um, eighth chakra bow tie those those ones might be changed to eighth to tenth chakra bow tie soon um, so that's a way of resetting your your meta program but but then you want to connect back down to your feet and deep into earth too so the thing that you're feeling will be a, a hara line h-a-r-a -A, thin like thin hara line going from high above your head down you know up there at the moon <laughs> or halfway to the moon maybe that's the ninth chakra down 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 through your body through your heart which is the center your physical operational center right D down 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 into the sacred halls of Amenti at the hollow core of astral earth deep 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 into earth so I am grounded now Goodbye.